in uh, verses uh, 14 through 17 here of Revelation uh, chapter 11. If uh, you'll turn there in your Bibles, I'm going to read those uh, first few verses. And uh, I'll give you a little bit of a review about where we've been. The second woe is past, it says, and behold, the third woe cometh quickly. And the seventh angel sounded, and there were great voices in heaven, saying, The kingdom of this world are become the kingdoms of our Lord and of His Christ, and He shall reign forever and ever. To give you a little bit of an idea of this idea, what is the third woe? Well, if you remember from our past studies in Revelation, the first woe was the demons from the pit. Remember, the fifth trumpet blew. That was the first woe. Those demons come up out of the pit, and it was just a horror story. I mean, it really was a horror story. And then there was the second woe, and that was the sixth trumpet. And um, I, I understand that as an angelic army coming in. So you've got uh, the angels, the demons all around, and, and people just refusing to repent during this time. But now, he says here, the third woe. The third woe is coming. And the third woe is the opening up of the next seven judgments, the next seven vile judgments. Some people like to call them the bold judgments. But they're an idea of God just pouring His wrath out upon the earth is what these vile judgments are. And uh, that is kind of the outline here that we're seeing that reaches all the way in to the end of the book and the end of this world as far as that goes.